Hello everyone, this is Zia Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a problem from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve d cube minus 70 plus 6 into y equals to e power 2x, which is an f of d into y equals to e power ax form, right? Where a is a real number. Solution given differential equation d cube minus seventy plus six into y equals to e power two x, which is an operator form. f of d into y equals to q where f of d equals to d q minus 70 plus 6 and q equals to e power 2x. Now we will find complementary function. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation. Right? For that first we will find complementary function and then we will find particular integral using the given q and f of d. Okay. Firstly, let's see auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to replace d by m in f of t then you'll get f of m equals to m cube minus 7m plus 6 then rock the equation will be m cube minus 7m plus 6 equals to 0 now we'll use synthetic division method to find the roots to the auxiliary equation So, place the equations of m's, m power 0, equation of m power 0, 6, minus 7, and quotient of m squared is 0, quotient of m cube is 1. Consider the polynomial, m cube minus 7m plus 6. Now, let's see which m is going to satisfy this polynomial for m equals to 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2, and so on. Let's try for 1, for m equals to 1, 1 minus 7 into 1 plus 6 equals to 1 plus 6, 7 minus 7 into 1, 7, which is equals to 0. So, m equals to 1 satisfies this polynomial. So, put 1 and 0 here, 1 plus 0, 1, 1 into 1, 1, 0 plus 1, 1, 1 into 1, 1, minus 7 plus 1 is minus 6. 1 into minus 6 is minus 6, minus 6, plus 6, minus 6, 0, right? Again, from this, we'll get another polynomial. m square plus m minus 6 equals to, right, no need to write 0, okay? Again, here we are going to see which m is going to satisfy this. Polynomial. So let's put m equals to 1 firstly. 1 square plus 1 minus 6 equals to 1 square is 1 plus 1 minus 6. So m equals to 1 does not satisfy this polynomial. Let's try for m equals to minus 1. You'll get minus 1 whole square plus minus 1 minus 6 equals to 1 minus 1 minus 6. And this also not equals to 0, right? You'll get minus 6 which is not equals to 0 and for m equals to 1 you will get minus 4 which is not equals to 0 
Fine. Now let's try for m equals to 2. Two squared plus two minus six equals to two squared four plus two minus six equals to four plus two six minus six equals to zero. Again, by looking at this polynomial, we can square. We can say that two squared plus two is four and minus six, and definitely m equals to two satisfies this polynomial. So, for m equals to two. 2 into 1, 2, 1 plus 2, 3, 2, 3 is a 6, minus 6 plus 6 is 0. Again, you'll get a polynomial of degree 1. Or from this, we'll get a factor m plus 3. Okay. Or you can solve this. You are having factor or a polynomial, whatever it is. You have m, m plus 3. So, by looking at this, we can say that m equals to minus 3 satisfies this polynomial, right? Minus 3 plus 3 equals to 0. If you want, you can try for m equals to 1. If m equals to 1, you will get 4, which is not equals to 0. Put m equals to minus 1 which is 2, again it is not equal to 0, for m equals to 2, you will get 2 plus 3 equals to 5, again it is not equal to 0, for m equals to minus 2, you will get minus, sorry, plus 1, which is not equal to 0, finally you will come for 3, okay, for 3, you will get 3 plus 3 equals to 6, again not equal to 0, again come for minus 3, minus 3 plus 3 equals to 0, Right? So, m equals to minus 3 satisfies this polynomial. For m equals to minus 3, minus 3 into 1, minus 3, 3 minus 3 is 0. So, here we have m equals to 1, from this we will get a factor m minus 1. And from this, here you are having m equals to 2, from this we will get a factor m minus 2, which is equal to 0. And here, from m equals to 3, we will get m plus 3 equals to 0. So the factors of m cube minus 7m plus 6, I am just talking about the polynomial. So the factors of this polynomial is m minus 1 into, correct of m minus 1 into, m minus 2 into m plus 3. Okay. Now equate each factor to 0. Then we will get roots Okay. Roots then m equals to 1, 2 and minus 3 are the roots which are real and distinct. So here we have used synthetic division method. are the roots of f of m equals to 0 which are real and distinct. You know that when three roots m1, m2, m3 are real and distinct then our solution will be that is the complementary function will be C1 e power m1x plus C2 e power m2x plus C3 e power m3x. Right? So, uh, y4, sorry, yc equals to complementary function is equals to C1 e power first root 1 into x 
plus c2 e power second root 2 into x plus c3 e power third root minus 3 into x. Then we'll get y c equals to c1 e power x plus c2 e power 2x plus c3 e power minus 3x. Right? A complementary function is c1 e power x plus c2 e power 2x plus c3 e power minus 3x. Now we'll find the particular integral. Particular integral is given by 1 by f of d into q is equals to 1 by we have f of d equals to d cube minus 7 d plus 6, right? Then f of d is d cube minus 7 d plus 6 into q is 2 power, sorry, e power 2x. Now replace 2 in d. Then you will get f of 2 equals to 2 cube minus 7 into 2 plus 6, which is equal to 2 cube 8, minus 7 2 is 40, plus 6, 8 plus 6 is 40, minus 40, which is equal to 0, since f of 2 equals to 0, so what we'll do is, next, we'll put 1x into 1 by, find the derivative of this, okay, that is, we'll need to find f dash of d, since f of d equals to d cube minus 7 d plus 3, 6, then f dash of d will be d cube 3 d square minus 7 d is 7, right? So write 3 d square minus 7 into e power 2x. Now we'll see, we have to get f dash of d not equals to 0. Let's see what happens. F dash of 2 equals to simply replace d by 2. Then you'll get 3 into 2 square minus 7 equals to 3 into 2 2, two square is 2 2 is a 4 minus 7. 3 4 is a 12 minus 7 equals to 5 which is not equals to 0. So since f dash of d is not equals to 0 or guess right f dash of 2 otherwise f dash of 2 is not equals to 0 so we'll replace d by 2 okay or we can just write this as x into 1 by f dash of Two. Since f dash of 2 is not equals to 0, here we have written 1 by, in the denominator we have f dash of 2 which is nothing but we can replace 2 in the place of d since f dash of 2 is not equals to 0. Okay, it means that we can replace 2 in the place of d in f dash of d since f dash of 2 is not equals to 0 into e power 2x which is equal to x into 1 by f dash of 2 is 5 into e power 2x, which is equal to x into e power 2x by 5. x e power 2x by 5 is a particular integral. Therefore, yp equals to x e power 2x by 5. So we got yp equals to x e power 2x by 5. Now coming to the solution, general solution.
therefore the general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yb complementary function plus particular integral which is equals to complementary function c1 e power x plus c2 e power 2x plus c3 e power minus 3x plus yp x into e power 2x by 5 or you can just write this as c1 into e power x plus c2 into e power 2x plus c3 into e minus e power minus 3x plus 1 by 5 into x e power 2x or just take this x inside the bracket and you'll get x by 5 into e power 2x okay this completes the problem or you can just write as 1 by 5 into x e power 2x Therefore, y equals to c1 e power x plus c2 e power 2x plus c3 e power minus 3x plus 1 by 5 into x e power 2x is the required solution. Okay. So, here in this problem, we got f of a equals to 0, right? In yp, you are having 1 by some f of d into q or better e power ax. If f of a equals to 0, you can substitute f of a in the denominator. Okay, for that you will write x into 1 by, you will find f dash of d into e power ax. If f dash of a is not equals to 0, you can write the value of f of a in the denominator. Suppose you will have f dash of a also equals to 0. Then what happens? Again, you will include one more x. Here you are having one x and write one more x. 1 by, again, find the derivative of this. f double dash of d into e power ax. Okay? If f double dash of a if f double dash simply by replacing a by a, uh, d by a, you will get f double dash of a. If it is not equals to 0, then you can apply the value of f double dash of a. That means you can write the value of f double dash of a in the denominator in the next step. Okay. If again you will get this equals to 0, then what happens? x into x, x square into write one more x into 1 by, find another derivative of this, that is f triple dash of d into e power ax. Okay, here we have to get f triple dash of a is not equals to 0 to write the value of f triple dash of a in the next step. Okay, if it is equals to 0, again it continues. You will write one more f and you will find one more derivative of this one. Okay. And you will check whether it is equals to 0 or not equals to 0. If it is equals to 0, better if it is not equals to 0, you will just apply the value of f power 4 d or f power, value of f power 4 of a. Okay. Likewise. So this is a way to find yp when q equals to e power ax form. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.